Привіт! I'm Taya from Ukraine and welcome to my channel again. Guys, I know you like village lifestyle videos and I have another for you. Uh, I'm going to show you our everyday life if you like to see, keep watching, but I surely have something interesting to show you in this video. Also, you might uh, notice that I have a better camera now, different camera and on my phone and thanks to you now i will be able to shoot more videos on my phone with a better much better quality so thank you all of you for your support for donations i have another surprise for you i will definitely show you uh, <laughs> this surprise in this video and make a different uh, interview with her later this is how we're going to plant the potato look how much it is of course, nowadays we don't do this with our own hands. We have a good uh, uncle who has a tractor. This is how the garden looks like in the end of April, empty. This is how much potato <laughs> will grow for this year. This is one of the main ingredients for all dishes. This is a local shop where you can buy things for your construction, repairing and stuff for house. This is not a supermarket, a simple shop, but it has lots of useful things you will need. And even in the village they require to wear a mask in shops as well. We need to buy some stuff for another very simple fence. And also we need to buy some food for our new little chicken and uh, look how it is stored in a vet shop. <laughs> it's just like a vegan outside and there's another cabinet in this building. Look how much we got stuff. It was very necessary, so I bought this fence. It's a, like a temporary fence for chicken side. This is food for chicken, you can guess by this. And also painting for our uh, new fence over here to color wood. My granny is making salad. It's called vinaigrette. Vinaigrette is a special salad for fasting or if you don't eat uh, eggs and meat. It includes boiled beetroot, boiled beans, pickled cucumber, boiled carrot and uh, some uh, cabbage. Not fresh one, pickled also cabbage. Mm. Soft, sour, mm. salty and a little bit sweet. Guys, you can't imagine how hard it is to make a fire in very old school way. I've tried so many times. My hands <laughs> are all dirty. You need to know a few life hacks before you can do this successfully. So first life hack from my grain, you need to put newspaper beneath the wooden sticks. You need to have one very thin like that by diagonal and another two straight 
on top and maybe I will be successful this time. I think I've tried five times uh, these days and <laughs> I never succeeded. Also, we need to wait until it will be fully burning and then I can open the beneath door and then I can put more wood, thick wood on top of that. It is 10 degrees outside and inside it's very cold. <laughs> I can say even colder than outside because despite of all this hidden stuff you see and all the pipes and they got the plastic new pipes I will show you over here the gray one it's pretty cold you like my house no you don't like my house Masha. few seconds ago it was okay but now you see no, I'm not successful. So what are the life hacks to make this work and fire like this? Like I said, you put a newspaper and it shouldn't be smooth. You should wrap it like this and then put sticks this thick. They should be like this thick because I put something like a half of this and my grain is like, whoa, that's, that's too thick. So it should be very thin like this. Thank you for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe to support my videos, see you in my next episode, bye bye!